uh, I am open to your questions. Do you want an apology from Prime Minister? Do you want an apology from Prime Minister Orban for meeting the Prime Minister? Well, it's really more than strange to see that we start to flirt with regime who is committing, as I mentioned, very cruel atrocities on the territory of Ukraine. It sends very wrong message to anybody, to first of all, to international uh, society uh, and also to Ukraine, who is fighting for their freedom, for the sovereignty of the country, and uh, is fighting for our freedom too. Because if Ukraine would lose, I exclude this possibility, but if let us imagine. We will have completely new status quo in our region. It will be fragile security of all of us, not only eastern border countries, but all whole European Union. And we have to realize that. I think this is very easy to understand, that there will be next targets if the first target will be conquered successfully. No, 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 no. We, we, have, a very, we have a very transparent and clear policy on that which differ for the majority of the strategy here, probably your strategy as well. You have a war strategy. We have a peace strategy. And we would like to do everything in order to have peace. Therefore, we keep open all the communication line to the Russians. Otherwise, there will be no chance for peace. This is a strategy. So we are proud of it. No, no. We are proud of it to do it. We are the only one who is speaking on behalf and in favor of the peace, which would be the interest of everybody in Europe.